Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a skincare collection video. I'm going to be showing you everything that I've got. I did a perfume collection video a couple of weeks ago now, um, and you all love that, so I was quite surprised about that. So I thought we'd do a skincare one. I know I've had quite a few questions about my skincare collection in the past, so here it is. Um, obviously, you all know I get a lot of beauty boxes, advent calendars, so I do have quite a lot of stuff. Like, not as much as some people will have, but compared to the average person, I have quite a lot of stuff. Um, so yeah, a few of you are commenting on this here. Uh, this is kind of my go-to. I also have a couple of drawers. There's a box under here as well, and then I have, like, cleansers and masks and stuff in the bathroom. So I'm going to be going through all that today, showing you exactly what I've got, and just doing a bit of a rejig, resort, um, just to decide what products I'm using next, and yeah, just show you really. So I've cleared this back unit here. Obviously they're all my perfumes. If you want to watch that video, I'll link that up here. Um, this here is kind of like the products I've got open at the moment um, and what I'm using and then possibly what I'm going on to next. And that usually sits on the dressing table, which is where my mirror is, where I normally film. Um, but I've moved that on the back here just for easy access and so you can see it all. Uh, and these few products here. There's my little owl, that's my granddad's. Um, and yeah, so I've got this space here. These are just some random little bits that are on the side. This I've just recently got in PR from Aborian, which is blush. Um, but yeah, so this is the main thing here. This is my little spinny thingy. Probably has a name, but yeah. This was from Amazon. It was about £30 and I've had this about two and a half, three years now. And it's fine. Brilliant. So it spins around. It's got all these different sizes. You can adjust the height of the shelves. And yeah, I love it. Um, it was organised, so I did kind of have like cleansers and stuff like in these larger sections here for these like bigger bottles. Um, I mean it's kind of organised a little bit, like these were all hand cream here. Um, but then I just put the other product in here, there was like serums in one bit. Just, it's just a bit messy now though, because like I'll take a product out to use it and then just fill the gap. So yeah, that's the first thing. Then at this top drawer we have cleansers and the odd toner. This was a lot fuller, but I've moved a lot of these things into the bathroom cupboard now. Um, but yeah, I am working my way through these. So I will use all these. That's the thing, like, I do obviously get around to using all these products at some point. Um, next we have moisturisers and serums. Um, a lot of big chunky ones, a lot of full sizes. Some miniatures, I've got some eye creams here as well. And these are those, like, cooling globs, they're very cool. And then the next drawer then, we've also got masks. A little bit of sun safety from Dermal there. Um, but yeah, mainly masks. So these are my Foreo masks. We've then got, these are normally sheet masks, but I've not really got many of those at the moment. And then just other kind of masks at the back. Um, so yeah, that's my skincare in here. The other stuff, I've done these declutters before. So I've like lips and lashes and then hair stuff, body stuff. Um, those videos as well. I did those declutters. I want to say it was after the Christmas stuff last year. Uh, I can't remember when it was, but yeah, if you want to watch those, then I'll also link those. Um, I'll next be doing my declutter and doing like all that kind of stuff and makeup in probably after Christmas. Yeah, when I've done all the other stuff. So that is what we're working with. I've also got my cleansers in the bathroom, but I'm not going to be sorting those out, so I might just quickly show you those. So yeah, this is the bathroom cupboard. Um, so in here I have mainly cleansers and masks. So at the bottom here we've got, we've got some full sizes here at the back and then mainly miniatures here. So I tend to take these out and put whatever I'm using on this cupboard. So at the moment I'm using this Elemis. Superfood cleansing butter, which is really nice, and I'm also using this Liz Earl cleansing polish. My foils just chill there. Uh, that just sucks, like, it looks pretty. But yeah, up here is mainly masks with the occasional cleanser. I, mean, I say occasional, that's a cleanser, that's a cleanser at the back. This is like a cleansing and a scrub thingy. It's cleanser, but yeah, lots of little miniatures masks as well. A little sponge on the top. That's from that really posh cleanser from um, Cohorted. So these will stay in here, um, and I will kind of get around to using these, these and like my next ones. Um, I generally replace the miniatures with more miniatures when there's a gap. But yeah, the full size ones I just use. Like I'm halfway through this one now that was in PR a while ago. Um, and yeah, so that is the bathroom. So that is literally staying as is. But that's what I have there. Okay, so I've just placed it in my drawer. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all the stuff from that spinny thing um, and put it here in categories of like cleansers, moisturizers, serums, eye products, exfoliators, anything else, whatever. Um, and separate it and then hopefully when I put all that stuff back um, I will be able to kind of make a little bit of an order um, but yeah so I'll get everything out first and then I'll go through everything in each section to show you what I've got um, and yeah then we can put it back together so I'll probably do a bit of a time lapse here unless I start chatting so So 
So I've just pulled everything out of that spinny thing. And this is it. There's so much stuff. I kind of want it all on display here though now because it looks so good. Like, I like skincare. And just look at everything. Crazy. So yeah, that is now empty. That's an empty box there. That's um, just like an empty packet. Those are just like some sleep spray roll on kind of things, which I don't really know what to do with because I don't really use them. And that at the back are some Kylie lipsticks that don't fit my drawer. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to do the category thing now and then show you everything. <laughs> Okay, so there we have organised. Um, so here I've kind of put like my chemical exfoliators, my toners, my mists, um, and just kind of stuff like that. Uh, then we've got exfoliators, like more physical exfoliators and chemical as well. A few little tanning bits and bobs here. These are like facial oils. This is the biggest bit, these are all serums. How many I've got, it's crazy. Um, eye creams here, uh, and moisturisers here. These are like night moisturisers. And then we've got some SPF here, and then these are all hand creams. Now in here, I've obviously got a lot of moisturisers and serums, so I'd like to get those out as well and see what we can kind of mix up and bring some to the front. So I'm going to try and squeeze everything in here and make a little bit more space. <laughs> Products out of there and the second drawer. The only other bits that I've got here, I've got a deep sleep pillow spray, hand wash, like a spray thingy. This, if you watch my perfume video last week or the week before, this is my favourite ever perfume that they discontinued and I've got this tiny little bottle. So yeah, I've hardly used any of this but I'm trying to keep this because it's just so nice. Best one ever. And um, I've also found these two masks as well which won't fit in my mask drawer so we're going to have to find somewhere to put those. So yeah, got quite a lot of stuff so I'll go through everything first and then I'm going to try and organise it and put it in the spinny thingy. So starting with then, these kind of exfoliate bits and bobs. Obviously we've got the Pixie Glow Tonic. This is quite a big one. I actually bought this around Christmas time from Look Fantastic. Because this is just, this is my favourite. This is the best one. And yeah, so I bought that. And then just after I bought that, because I did actually run out, which is why I bought it. I then got some of this from Pixie. So inside here is... A huge one with my name on which is so cute but yeah i've not got around to using it yet but yeah it is the best but i'd run out so i had to buy this one um and then i've also got um the miniatures of ren i've got two of those i'm also currently using the big old pack you know what i'm gonna go through this first ignore me so yeah these are the things that i'm currently using which is what i keep out so we've got i mean it's a bit of everything these hair products as well um, so the micellar water that I've got on the go at the moment is this huge bioderm one. This was in the OK Beauty box last year and it's taken me forever to get through. Um, hair products here, I've got this show. I've honestly used this since about Christmas. This is like, it's like a leave-in conditioner, it's like a cream. So I always put this on first. It's super heavy because it's so luxurious at the top. But yeah, this has literally lasted since Christmas. But I feel like it's pretty empty, but it just seems to be giving me more and more. So yeah, not empty yet. And then as well, I'm also using the Beautyworks 10 in 1 Miracle Spray, so that's also there. Um, and then we've got a Batiste dry shampoo on the go, as well as, I tried this one, which is why this is also out. This smells so, so good. Just smells like the Bum Bum Cream, it's amazing. So yeah, that's also there as well. And then we've got some SPFs, uh, some sprays when I'm just nipping out. So we've got the Bondi Sands. This I thought was like so, so good. But then after a while, I'm just, I think I still prefer this one. The Ombre Solaire one. This is the best for topping up on top of makeup. Or just on top of my skincare before I'm nipping it out with the dog or something. I'll just nip it out to the shops, whatever. Great top up. That's nearly empty, that one. This one is good. It's just a little bit wet on your face. It kind of like, it's less of a mist, more of like a spray. So it's just, there's just a bit more. Don't smell as nice either. Um, so I've also got another one there. So moving on to that one when that one is empty. What else have we got here? Oh, this is so good. This is the Money Skin Perfecting Tint SPF 15. It's just a little bit orangey. But that's quite nice for when I'm just in the house. A bit of colour to my skin. 
Um, a serum that I've got here is the Dermalogic Smart Response Serum. I did start using that, I don't use it that often to be honest. Um, at the back this is a hair finishing cream. I really like this range from Schwarzkopf. Um, this, I'm actually going to get rid of this because I've had this like two years now and I've hardly used it. It's hydrating facial mist. It just spills everywhere and it just doesn't stand up right. It's really annoying. Just so wobbly. And like you knock it and it's like, oop, everything's gone. So yeah, that's going to go in the bin. Because I'm just, I'm not going to use that. Uh, then we've got this. So this is leave-in hair oil. I got this out because I'm thinking, well, that'll be empty soon. That'll be empty soon, but they're just never ending. So that's there. Uh, I've then got the Magic Cream Light from Charlotte Tilbury. My L is watching you. Um, I thought I'd move on to that soon, but I keep picking these little miniatures, so that's my next big one to go on to. Uh, I've got the miniature from Shantikai. This is like a night cream, um, so yeah, I'll be moving on to that pretty soon as well. Uh, what else we got? Oh, this is my Dermalogica Net Fit Contour Serum. Neck Fit Contour Serum. It's like a rolly thing. I'm not very good with my neck creams. I kind of forget sometimes because sometimes I do my skincare early and then this is something like just before bed but if I already did my skincare then I won't actually come back to this I forget this is genius this easy locks wonder wand it's like a clear mascara for your hair it just like squashes down all your little flyaways so that's fab keep that there um what else we got I've obviously got this full size Ren that's nearly finished I find that even though the pixie glow tonic is like stronger because it's glycolic acid whereas, whereas this is like lactic acid um, this stings my face more than this one, which is weird, so I actually prefer the Pixie one. But yeah, um, we've got this little hydrating mist from OK Beauty. Um, I've been using this recently before my hyaluronic acid, just to give it a bit of a, you know, dampened skin before I pop it on. Uh, retinol drops, these are really nice from Rodeo. I've been using these interchangeably with my retinol serum, which is this one. A plus from Sunday Riley. This is amazing. I had a miniature of this a few months ago. Um, it's in my empties and I loved it so much I then went and got the full size one. And I actually used my credits from Liberty when I got the Liberty box so it actually only cost me a tenner because that's £70. We've then got this little Balance Me BHA Exfoliating Concentrate. I thought I'd try this one. Not really excited about it but it's there. My current vitamin C is my favourite ever vitamin C. The Dermalogica Biolumin C Serum. This is just the best. Um, my go-to, I love this one. Uh, but this is my last one, but I do have another couple of vitamin C's, so I'm not actually going to buy one yet. Hopefully we might get one in an advent calendar. I've then got a little miniature of the Pixie Glow Tonic, um, so I'm kind of using both these at the same time. But yeah, I just prefer this one, it's just nicer for me. We've then got, oh this is a little toner, like a pore mist from Dermalogica. This was in an ASOS box. Yeah, I use this every now and again. Probably will aim to finish that pretty soon. Um, my go-to sunscreen at the moment, I'm using this one, this is nearly empty, the Cordially SPF. Now I did have another one of these and I said I really didn't like the smell. So I had this one in my drawer and it was there for since last summer. But I thought, no, I'm going to give it a go. Um, and it's actually not as bad as I like, remembered it to be, so I've used that and it's, it's quite nice. It goes nice under makeup. Another SPF I'm also using at the moment is the Bondi Sands Hydra. This is so nice, I love this one. Kind of surprised me though the size of the bottle, I kind of expected it to be bigger. But, I mean, you only need a little bit because it's quite runny. I like that one. I've also got this eye cream open. I don't use this one often, so I should probably use this one next. Finish it up. The Brightening Dark Circle Eye Cream. I've then got this little, what is this? Nourishing Cream. Yeah, the reason I've not used this yet is because it's got no ingredients on the back because it's in miniature, so I need to Google the ingredients before I can actually use it. Because, you know, you girls got allergies. We've got the Avant Overnight Serum. I'm using this at the moment. This is really, really nice. I love this. And then, kind of, it's not really skincare, is it? It's more like, well, it's kind of skin hair care. Uh, this is the brand new Ordinary Multipeptide Lash and Brow Serum. Um, I bought this on ASOS. Oh, look, fantastic. I can't remember. Um, a couple of weeks ago, and I've used it a few times. Um, I need to be more consistent with it. I just forget. I just go straight into my skincare. I'm like, oh, I forgot. Um, but yeah, I need to be better with that one. I'm then also using this Beauty Pie Super Drops. I bought a few things from Beauty Pie. I tried it out uh, a few months ago. I did actually start to film a video, but then it's taken me that long to get around to actually using the products then. I don't know, I thought you might be bored of it, so I didn't continue, but I might continue. Let me know in the comments if you want to see a video on Beauty Pie, because there are some products that are fab and I really like. Um, next is this Good Jeans. This is out because I feel like I should use this, 
but I've never used it before, so it's out to encourage me to use it. Um, that's from Sunday Riley. We've then got this um, Dr. Dennis Gross Alpha Beta Extra Strength Daily Peel. Um, I really like these. I've used two of these, there's three left in there to use. And I've also opened these Facial Radiance Pads. I love these, they're so nice. These are just really convenient. Um, you know what, I've actually started using these because I would obviously use this one or this one, but in my reusable washable pads had run out, so they've gone in the wash, so I'll just use one of these pads instead. And then at the front here we've got this other SPF. This is so nice. I really like this one because it doesn't sting your eyes. So in the morning I'll put my SPF on either this one or this one or whichever spray one. Um, and then I'll go and walk the dog. But sometimes like my eyes start to sting as I'm walking around. If I do this one it doesn't. So yeah this is great. Um, this is another leave-in conditioner that I got out in the hopes that I'll be able to open this soon. But this one just won't ever end. Um, that's from Away and yeah I'm excited to use that one. Um, I've also got this overnight facial cream from Neom to try. Um, I was actually going to start this last night but I've got a bit of like dry skin on my cheeks and I thought this would just kind of irritate you a bit because I'm guessing it's going to be quite scented. But yeah, that's there to use. I also started using this La Mer moisturising cream. This is quite thick so this is something I'll, I mean it's more of a winter thing for me but obviously I've opened it now. So I will use it and just kind of drench my skin in it overnight. Then I also got this one, it's a little bit dusty. This is the Lumine. Nordic Hydro Water Gel. Never tried this. Um, again, I'm going to have to... Oh no, the ingredients are on the bottom, aren't they? So yeah, that's another one for me to try. Um, so they're there for me to try, so that's what I'm using. Uh, also, the things that don't fit in here that I'm also using, slash open, slash will open. Um, this I opened, again, when I didn't have any pads left, and before I got these ones in whatever box thing it was, I just opened this because it's a spray top. Uh, really nice toner. I'm kind of interchanging my toner and my exfoliating chemical exfoliator sometimes. Sometimes I'll use both, sometimes I'll use one or the other. I don't really have a routine with it, i just use some. This is my current daytime moisturiser, my Elemis Marine Cream SPF1. And this is my current eye cream, the Vitamin C Eye Souffle from Rodeo. This is amazing. Um, the pot is massive. The souffle, you need the tiniest amount. It goes so, so far, but really, really nice. Uh, these I've recently got from Nip and Fab in PR. I've not really used many of those, but I will do. Um, I've also got here, this is also in the same set, The um, this is the concentrate and then there's also the serum which is this one. I've been using the concentrate more, not so much the serum. Um, this is really nice, really hydrating, I really like that so I'm using that at the moment. And then my current night cream is this Augustinus Beta, the rich cream, I've just finished one of those so I've opened another one. And then I've also got this, this works, Hyaluronic Serum for the morning. I found that pills a little bit so this, this tends to be what I'm using when I'm not going out. This is my go-to daily, well it's an SPF lipstick really. So if I'm just nipping out the dog in the morning, just pop this on and this is my SPF for my lips and it's really nice. So yeah, that's on there as well. And then these are a couple of things. I started using this, mm, I don't really know, two minds about that at the moment. And then I really want to use this, so I've got this out to use. And that is like my daily go-to kind of bits and bobs. Uh, while sorting out all this stuff here, I came across this. This is like my go-to night moisturiser for my body but this it felt like it's feel a bit empty and when I open it, it kind of dribbled out so I'm gonna bin that I think that's, that's a bit gone um also there's these collagen drops from Rodeo I'm pretty sure they should be clear so I'm just gonna get rid of those they look a bit funky anyway right okay so back over here to this section so we've got my pixie glow tonic and my two Ren ones I've also got this chemical exfoliator from Polish Choice this is amazing um, I haven't opened this one yet because I'm using other ones, but that is one to have in. If you have any like problematic skin, um, blocked pores, blemishes, anything like that, this is great for exfoliating. It's fab. Okay, we've also got here from Aborian. This is the O Ginseng Lotion Concentrate. Concentrate Lotion. I don't know why I read the foreign language then. Um, so yeah, I've not opened that one yet, but Aborian is such a fab brand. I love every one of their products I've tried, so I'm super excited to actually use that. This was a toner that we got in a glossy box a while ago. I've not got around to that yet either. Um, and then we've also got this long con one. I actually bought this in a set with, what was it with? The moisturizer, this long con moisturizer here. And then something else, maybe an eye cream, I can't remember. And I don't know if Look Fantastic's website was just messing up or if it was an actual offer, but it was five pounds, so I bought them. So yeah, I not opened that yet. I've also got, this is so nice. This is the Glow Recipe Watermelon PHA and BHA Quartite Toner. This is amazing. I absolutely love this product. And yeah, super excited to open that one. 
Uh, what else have we got? This is just like a hydrating mist. I've not opened that yet. That was from the Cult Beauty Advent Calendar. Just not got around to it. Another little toner here from Liz Earl. The Skin Tonic. Again, just not around to that one. Here's another little facial mist, the Amoravitsa. It's called Queen of Hungary Spray in their limited edition bottle. It's so nice. Then got this brand new one from Dermalogica. So this one here, this is the Antioxidant Hydra Mist. I've not even opened that one yet, but I will do. Swap my arms over because it's aching. Um, I've got another one of these hydrating serum mists from OK. So yeah, I will get around to using it at some point. Um, I haven't tried this one yet either. This is the Cordelate Beauty Elixir. So yeah, excited to try that one. Looks really nice. I've also got this Elemis Superfood Kefir Tea Mist. Uh, and that I think is everything in that section because these are my oils in front of me. So yeah, so those are like all my exfoliating toners and just general toners and mists and stuff. Then the other exfoliating stuff I've got is Medicaid Sleep Glycolic Time Release AHA. Um, not tried that yet. Uh, also the Avant Face Exfoliator. I feel like we've had a million and one of these and I've never used one so yeah that's one of them. I think I've got another one in my mask drawer. Um, I don't really know what this is. I'm going to have to google this again. It's the Silver Skin Saviour but when I've opened it it looks a bit exfoliated so I've kind of put it in this pile. Um, but yeah that's something to use. Um, I've then got this, what's this by? Evolve Organic Beauty Rose Quartz Facial Polish. That's yep, another one. Interesting. Never used that before. And then we've got this Evening Detox CBD Booster and AHA. That's why it's here, it says AHA <laughs> from This Works. But yeah, I've never tried that before. This Works is generally a nice brand as well. So yeah, looking forward to using that one. Oh, and also we've got uh, Good Jeans Sunday Riley. So a miniature of that big one. I might try the miniature first actually, but. Yeah, that goes there. Just quickly do the tanning bits. This was from the latest ASOS box, the Tanologist Day Glow Self Tan Serum. That looks interesting. I only got that a couple of weeks ago, so I've not tried that yet. I've got a gradual tan sleep face retinol. Sleep face? Sleep mask face retinol. <laughs> um, yeah, not tried that either. Uh, I've recently started using these ones, the tan looks of the face, and I got a really, really nice tan on my face. This was so nice. So it just needs to be more consistent with it, I just forget. Uh, we've then got the Dr. Siva Cell Tanning Drops. Um, yeah, not even tried those yet. We've got two of these little miniatures. The tan looks super glow. One looks slightly off coloured though, doesn't it? So I don't really know. I mean, they've not been opened. I might just check those before I use them. And then we've got the Dr. Barbara Sturm Glow Drops as well. So that's like the tanning kind of stuff for my face. Um, I'll do these oils as well whilst we're here. So the biggest, well one of the bigger ones is the Elemis Pro Collagen Marine Oil. I've already got one of these open because I have a little box next to my bed with like nighttime bits in and I've got one of those in there. Um, Scientia Dusk Elixir Active Oil Blend, that sounds interesting. Um, this was a new brand for me last year and I used the eye cream or eye serum, whatever it was from it. And it was so nice, really, really nice. So yeah, I'm looking forward to using it actually. I don't really use a lot of oils because I find my face don't really need it but I have a lot. Um, the Pi, Pay Pi, Rose Hip, uh, that's just the generic Rose Hip oil. I've got a big one of those in the bathroom. Uh, I've started using it on my body actually because I'm just not going to get around to using it. I've got another one here, miniature, about the same size. i got a little miniature of the marine oil here. So I think before I open this one, I'll use this one next. Uh, this is another oil but it's a bit different because it's a vitamin C and turmeric one. Now usually I would use oil at night. But vitamin C, I was using the day, so I don't know whether to try this on days when I'm not going out and see how greasy my face looks. Uh, I then got the Emma Hardy Brilliance Facial Oil Overnight Treatment. Brand new, not open that yet. Uh, Monu Skin Fiji Facial Oil. I think I've tried that one. But yeah, it's just not a, a regular thing for me. Sicily, what's this? Black Rose Precious Face Oil. Little miniature. The Wishful Get Even Rose Oil. Not use that either yet. Um, Biosans Squalene Vitamin C Rose Oil and then the final one is the Luna by Sunday Riley Sleeping Night Oil. This is retinol. Now I was using this but it's bright blue, you won't be able to see it, but yes, yeah, bright blue and I have like silk pillowcases and I just don't want to lie in it when I've got oil on my face, especially blue oil. So yeah, oils aren't really something I reach for but every now and again if I'm just doing a, a thorough routine, I mean it's pretty thorough anyway but yeah, I'll just idle a bit anyway. Okay, I've then also come across these two Arborian products, the Pink Perfect Cream and the Glow Cream as well. 
Um, I've used this before, it is so nice. I would use these as primers rather than anything else. I'll just like, as my last step in my skincare routine after SPF, just for a nice glow. But yeah, highly recommend Arborian, such nice products. We're not a breath there, I had to stop them for a drink. Never done so much talking. Here we're halfway through. <laughs> I hope you're enjoying this. If you are enjoying it, please give it a thumbs up as well. Um, just for notes, obviously, I can see how many people view it. Um, but it's just good to know if you actually do like these videos because I can need more of these kind of things um, if this is what you want to see. Okay, moving on to serums, which is like, I think probably the biggest pile along with moisturisers. We've got the Power Bright Dark Spot Serum from Dermalogica. I've not actually used this yet because I don't really have dark spots. But, yeah, I might try it at some point, but it's brand new, unopened. I always keep my stuff unopened unless I'm actually going to use them or try it. We've got this Ginger Vitamin C Serum Shots. So this is another Vitamin C, so after my Dermalogica one has finished. This is the one I'm going to move on to and try this. This is new. Never used this brand before. This was in the Boots box from last October, November time. We've then got this uh, Figs and Rouge Wonder Charm, Wonder Love Charm, whatever it's called. Glow Elixir. Oh, is this a glowy product? What are you? Uh, glow Revise Life Smooth and Hydrate. Oh yeah, apply to cleanse skin before makeup. Oh. Hmm. Anyway, that's in that section. We've then got a standard hyaluronic acid serum from the Inculist. The Inculist is such a fab, like basic brand, super affordable, and that's going to be amazing. I've just not got around to it. Then this was in, was it the Easter egg from Look Fantastic? The Medicaid Clarity Peptides. Very excited about that, just not got around to using that one yet. I'm going to keep saying that, but most of them I just haven't got around to using. Um, this was another product I picked up from Beauty Pie, the Japan Fusion Genius Lift, Lift Elixir. It sounds amazing. So I had to try that one. Nice cinnamide serum from Hogo Bay. I don't know how you meant to say that. Uh, yeah, nice cinnamide. Then we've also got a few from The Ordinary. I've got the 100% plant derived squalane. We've got nice cinnamide. And we've also got a organic cold pressed rose hip seed oil. Oh, that's an oil. Whoa, got that in the oil section. We've then got this Dr. Dennis Grows Professional Grade at Dark Spot Concentrated Serum. I've then got a Turmeric Booster from Verso. This was really nice, this brand. I've used moisturizers from there, but they just smell like soap. So, I mean, I don't really know what that's going to smell like. I've then got a number seven Protect and Perfect Serum. This, I wasn't really sure what it was. I had to look at the box before I put it in a category, but from PSA, Purposeful Skincare by Allies, Liquid Clarity. Use daily, step three booster. So yeah, this is a blemish recovery booster. Don't really get many blemishes, but there we go. Uh, Dr. Barbara Sturm, super anti-aging serum. I've not tried this yet. Very excited about that one. Uh, we've got Figs and Rouge Renew and Refine Pore Detox Revival Serum. Generally nice products from Figs and Rouge. I do like the primers. Um, I've then got the Clarity Serum. This was in the box last year. Got an Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair. I've also got a miniature of that right in front of it. So I'm going to use a miniature first because I've not tried it before. Um, I'll see how I got on with that, but that's the same product. Um, I've then got a Rituals um, Serum. Radiance Anti-Aging Serum. You can focus. There we go. So yeah, interesting to see what that's going to be like. So I've not really used skincare, mainly body care from Rituals. I've got this brand new serum, the Wow Serum from Mantle. This was gifted... Uh, a couple of months ago. Uh, this sounds really, really good. Very excited about that one. The whole brand sounds amazing. Uh, then got this one. This was in a little fantastic box. Decorte Liposome Advanced Serum. Um, someone commented on my video saying how that's like a really, really good serum. So looking forward to that. Uh, one of my faves. Charlotte Tilbury Magic Serum. All of it. Uh, got this one. Oops. Oscia. Uh, Isotonic Hydra Serum. So yeah, this is going to be one of my next hyaluronic ones I kind of go to. Uh, we've then got some caffeine solution and EGCG. Reduces the appearance of eye contour, pigmentation and puffiness. Oh, is this an eye one? Is this in the wrong section? Oh yeah, it's an eye one. Massage a small amount into the eye contour AM and PM. Oh, no bit. Right, that's in there. Okay, Glossy Box Night Serum. Glossy Box Skincare is very underrated. I really like it. Um, yeah, this is a really nice serum. I've used this before. I really like the eye serum as well. Uh, it smells amazing. So yeah, we'll get on to using that one. One 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 skin is the Cryo ATP Sports Booster. Not really sure what that does yet, but that's there to use. We've got a Medicaid Hydrate B5 Intense. That's the like a hyaluronic hydration serum. Uh, oh, got another one here. 
really nice. I've used that before. It's such a nice serum. We've then got this Dr. Seba Rose de V serum. I thought this was more like an oil, but it says serum, so it's here. I've got a 111 skin. This is Y Serum Repair Serum NAC Y Squared. I don't know, but yeah, there's a serum there. Um, I've then got this little Kiehl's Dark Spot something serum. That's the ingredients are there for it. The Audacity CAR Wild Carrot Serum. That sounds interesting. I'm very excited about that one. Uh, another hyaluronic kind of one from Neod, which is on Niod. Um, the same like brand as The Ordinary. Um, then we've got a Drunk Elephant um, Glycolic Night Serum. Oh, another Advanced Night Repair. I've not got around to yet. This one looks good as well. Bondi Sands Thirsty Skin Hyaluronic Acid Serum. Bondi Sands have recently launched their skincare line and it's so nice. Um, so yeah, looking forward to using that one. We've got a Genifique Longcom one. Love that serum. We've then got the Circular Hydration Serum from Dermalogica. This is pretty new as well, so I've not tried that yet. We've got a little Shiseido serum. Um, and then these at the front, we've got the Privage from Elizabeth Arden. Little miniature, I want to use that soon. And then three from Bare Minerals here. So these two I've used, oh, so these two I've used before. This is one of my favorite serums. Um, it's the Skin Longevity Long Life Herb Serum. So, so nice, I absolutely love that. And then this one is different. This is the Ageless Phyto Retinol Retinol Phyto Retinol Night Concentrate. So yeah, I've not used that one yet. But those are there as well. So that is all the serums here. Uh, yeah, quite a lot. And obviously, like they take a while to get through. You only need a couple of drops. But yes, I've got some serum usage to do. Right. Okay. Eyes. This is such a fab eye cream. I love this. This is quite basic. SVR. So this is a brand that kind of popped up and I really like them. I've tried the cleanser from them and I've tried two of these already. Uh, this is an eye cream. Now it says for irritated eyelids, anti-itching soothing cream. So when we got this in a little fantastic box, a lot of people were a bit unsure like why they've got this. But it's just such a nice general eye cream. Like it's not just for irritated eyelids, it's just a really nice eye cream. Fab under makeup, fab under SPF, it's just great. We've got this Dr. Jar Ceramidin eye cream. Never tried that, it's quite a big one actually, 20 ml, it's quite big for an eye cream isn't it? Um, we've got oh, the caffeine one from our Ordinary. Then we've got a Beauty Pie Super Retinol one, getting rid of those wrinkles around my eye area. Um, and then we've got, is this Verso? It is Verso eye cream. Again, let use that. This is one of my faves, it's the Rodial Dragon's Blood Sculpting Gel. Oh wait, that's not an eye cream. This is in the wrong section. I mean, I use that as a serum really, but yeah, that can go in the serum section. Anyway, um, this is the, I thought this was a serum as well, this is an eye cream, the Sunday Riley Auto Correct eye cream. Look how shiny it is. Uh, then we've got this Monja Skin Eye Cool Gel, that'd be nice for on holiday. The Medicaid Advanced Day Eye Protect. Um, Dermalogica Biolumin C Serum, this is one of my, like my favourite um, eye serums. I've got another one here. This is, it's amazing, so so good. Really, really nice, love that one. We've then got our Dermalogica Awaken Peptide Eye Gel. That's one of the newer ones as well. I've not used that yet. Uh, Esper, what's this one? 24 hour focus piece. Replenishing eye moisturizer. Little miniature. Uh, we've also got the retinol eye cream from the Inky List. Um, this is like, it's kind of like a concealer corrector eye cream, CCI. Um, it's got Centella Asiatica in it from Arborium, amazing. Uh, I've got a little Nivea Q10 Power Eye Cream. We've then got this one from Dr. Botanicals, the Kiwi Superfood Cooling Eye Serum. Another one of the uh, Brightening Dark Circle Eye Cream from Ren. Uh, what else have we got here? I've got a Balance Me Wonder Eye Cream. And then finally, this Wonder Lift 60 Second Wrinkle Reducer. See, I feel like this is more of like a makeup-y kind of product. It looks like concealer, but... Yeah, so those are all my eye creams and then moisturizers. So the biggest one here we've got is the Advanced Day Ultimate Protect from Medicaid. Never tried this, the only things I tried from Medicaid I think are the serums from memory, but yeah, very excited about this one. We've then got a Glossy Box 3 more moisturizer, again, very, very nice basic moisturizer. We've got a moisturizer from SVR, so yeah, this should be a good one as well. Intense moisturizing cream. We've got an Ali Skin Moisturiser. Now this is the Ali Skin's Australian brand, isn't it, that had that pink clay mask. Um, but yeah, I've not tried this. There was an exfoliator as well. Yeah, this is the moisturiser. 
Then we've got an Avant. Avant products, I think they're amazing. They're so overpriced. But yeah, really, really nice day cream there. If my sister watches this video, she'll probably come and steal that. Uh, this is the Ren Global Protection Day Cream. Um, I've not tried yet, not got around to it. We've then got the AHA Essential Real Eye Cream for the face. This still confuses me as a product. Um, it's just more concentrated, but yeah, I don't know why we call it an eye cream for the face. Why not just a concentrated face cream? Um, yeah, the Dr. Jart uh, Serum Riding Cream. So this goes with the eye cream. This is obviously a moisturiser. So I've never tried this before. A little miniature to try. I've got the Ultra Repair Cream from First Day Beauty. This is such a fab moisturiser. If you've got any dry skin anywhere on your body, use this. It's fab. It's so, so good. See, so yeah, I've got that as well. We've got the Versed Dew Point Moisturising Gel Cream. Um, this is really, really nice. I did have a miniature of this, um, but my boyfriend actually uses that now. Because if you put this on your uh, wrists, so just here, um, before spraying perfume, it's meant to make the smell stronger and last longer. So, yeah, he's now still on this. You could probably do it with any moisturiser, but, yeah, that's the one he's got. We've then got a couple from Polar. This is the... Ice Source Moisturising Cream. Again, another really good brand. The other one is here, which is the Eternal Snow Youth Promise Cream with Arctic Flowers. Very excited to use those. Got a little Clinique one here. This was actually in the Men's ASOS box a while ago, but I've seemed to have acquired it. Uh, dramatically Different Hydrating Jellies. This is like a nice summer one for me, nice and lightweight. Uh, I've got a, a hardy one here. This is the Prime and Protect or Protect and Prime SPF 30. Another Ultra Repair Cream. Two of those. Now this is like a multi-use, multi-purpose balm thing, but I would use this as a moisturizer. It's the Dr. Botanicals Lemon Superfood All in One Rescue Butter. So it says on the back that you can actually use it as a moisturizer. You can use it as a mask or you can use it as a cleanser. So yeah, I could try it as a mask when I'm in the bath maybe. Uh, we've got the Galane. Hydrating face cream. Uh, I've also got a mud masky, leave me on winter mask. I've got a very basic ordinary natural moisturising factors plus hyaluronic acid. This is a really good, well, basic moisturiser. So if my skin was to get a little bit crazy after using different products, that would just be a nice basic moisturiser that's not going to irritate it. Um, and yeah, still moisturise it. I've got an Alpha H Daily Essential Moisturiser SPF 50. This one looks really good, very excited about that one. Then got an LMS Superflu Superfluid Superfood Glow Priming Moisturizer. And we've got a Cordily uh, what's this called? SOS Intense Moisturizing Cream. I've used this before, it smells amazing. I love that one. Got another little miniature here of the Ecological Compound from Sisla. Never used that before. Uh, and this little Shisido. So cute, this little moisturizer here from them. I don't know if you guys are bored yet, <laughs> seems to be just never ending. Uh, we've got the Lancome Hydrazen, whatever this is, uh, anti stress moisturizing cream gel. Again, another nice summer one, lightweight. Got a standard Elemis Pro Collagen Marine Cream. This is the one without SPF. Um, yeah, really nice, love that one, it's one of my faves. Um, I've then got the Bobbi Brown Face Base. This is kind of like a moisturizing primer, but yeah, that's in here. We've got another uh, Glossy Box 3 more Moisturiser, very nice. Uh, I've got this from Luxa Skin, Universal Emulsion Day Moisturiser Night Cream Serum Base in One. It's a multi-use product, so yeah, I've not tried that yet. We've got this from Dr. Jart, it's the Sika Pear, Sika Pear, whatever it's called. Uh, Tiger, Grass, Tiger Grass Calming Gel Cream for sensitive skin. Uh, I've got this little miniature here, CeraVe. This is in a look fantastic box, so yeah, I will get around to trying that one as well. We've got from Summer Friday the Cloud Dew Oil Free Gel Cream. Again, another nice summer one. Um, moving on to the full size now, right down here. The Sunday Riley CEO. I've used one of these, it's really, really nice. I do really like that product. Um, and then we've got the Aborian Ginseng Infusion Moisturizing Cream. Very excited about that. We've got two of my faves, my Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream. This little miniature here, which is, I think this is 30ml, something very small. Um, and then we've got this one, another 30ml one. I love the box with this. Probably showing you in another video, but yeah, really, really nice. Then we've got another one of my LMS Marine Cream. Um, and then we've got this brand new one. This is from Mantle, so the same one that had the serum before. The Chill Cream. 
very excited about using that one. Um, but yeah, those are all my moisturisers. I've got so many, um, which is why I use my moisturiser quite liberally. Like, I don't use a little bit, I use, I use a lot. Because I have so much to get through. Um, I've got hand creams down here, so I'll quickly show you these. Uh, Neon Perfect Night Sleep Hand Balm. I find neon ones quite greasy. Like, they don't soak in as well as other ones. Oh, wait, that's not a hand cream. That's a exfoliator. Not used that before. That can go over here. Um, then we've got this one. This is, oh, this is so nice. The L'Occitan Hand Cream. That was in this month's glossy box. Really like that. Oh, this isn't a hand cream either. Sculpting Gel from Modeo. So it's, this is the same as this one. Just in a tube, so that can also go there. Um, and we've got a neck cream. I don't know what I'm doing over here. Um, a neck cream, so yeah, that doesn't really have a section, does it? I can just stay there. Uh, we've got the White Company Hand Wash. I have got the hand cream for that somewhere. That's here. It's the hand lotion. Nice little pair there. Um, Cowshed Hand Cream. Not a fan of the smell of this, but it's a really nice hand cream, so I will use that. Uh, onto my faves, Ritual, the Ritual Sakura. Um, this is my favourite scent, or one of my favourite scents from Rituals. Really nice hand balm as well. But my mum actually uses this and she's just run out so much they're going to give this one to my mum. Then got a White Company Lime and Bay um, hand cream. This one smells really nice, I've used this one before. And I do really like the White Company ones. They're very rich, um, very moisturising and the scent lingers as well. So if you do like the scent, it'll stay on your hands all day. We've then got the Ritual of Ayurveda hand cream. I love this one. Um, and then the last one, the Bubble Tea Peach Bellini. So those are all the hand creams. So they just kind of just sit on the top of that spinny thing usually. Let's get one when I need it. Now moving on to SPF, so the last section here. Um, it's quite a few little bitty ones. Um, so at the moment, like I said, I'm using this Cordially, Bondi Sands, uh, Garnier, and then these spray ones as well. So over here, I was going to open this one and then I realised it's a body one from Clarins. So if we do go on holiday this year, I'll definitely take that one with me. Um, I've also then got two of these, Protection 50 Sports from Dermalogica, um, full size ones. So yeah, these two here are again for body, so again for go away, I'll take those with us. Um, this is also, well that looked quite interesting so I actually bought this not long ago. This is the UV Water Face and Body, SPF 50. But yeah, the applicator looked very interesting. So I thought I'd try that. Again, that's more of like a holiday one or daytime for going out for the day to just like top up um, on top of our cream. Um, I've got the Dermalogica Invisible Physical Defense. I did have a couple of minis of this and I have tried it. It does leave quite a lot of white cast, but I'm thinking if I was on holiday, I'm not really that bothered if I've got white cast when I'm on the beach because I'm just going to be sunbathing. Um, and obviously it's a decent um, SPF. So yeah, still keeping that on. This is the Prisma Protect. So this is kind of like a primer SPF. Um, I mean, I don't really use primer that much anymore because I just use my SPF and then put my makeup on. But yeah, this is one that I'm really looking forward to trying from Dermalogica. I've then recently got the Supergoop Play. I'm very excited about this one because I absolutely love the Supergoop um, Unseen Sunscreen and also the Glow Screen. So looking forward to trying this one and seeing if it's just as good. Uh, we've then got this uh, Lancaster Sun Beauty Sublime Tam Body Milk. Uh, that's only SPF 15. But yeah, that's kind of like a holiday one. Um, we've got this. This is like a serum uh, for sunscreen, which is quite interesting. So I will give that a go. Got another one of this because I like to be stocked up in those. They're only like five or six pounds. So I just always add one onto my order when I'm doing an order. Uh, Hawaiian Tropic Mineral SPF 30. This was really nice, but it's very white casty. Um, so I did already use one of these um, quite a few months ago now, but yeah, it's just not a great finish. So again, more of like a holiday, you know, out of necessity, whack it on your face. Um, this is a lip one, SPF 50 uh, Hydrating Lip Balm. This is like a pinky colour. It looks really nice. I've not opened it yet. Um, I've then got one from Beauty Pie, what is try, the Featherlight UVA UVB SPF 50 Sunscreen and Primer. So looking forward to using that one. Uh, one of my faves, this is just a miniature from Bondi Sands for the face, SPF 50. Um, I bought this last year in the full size and the year before I think. I really, really like this product. This is so good on the skin, great as like a primer, great underneath makeup as well. 
Um, and then we've got this full size one from Shiseido, the Expert Sun Protector Face and Body Lotion. Again, this is more of like a holiday one for me. Um, because if that was for my face, it'd take me like a year to get through. So yeah, well not a year, but you know what I mean. So that's all the SPFs there. I've just forgotten these little ones here. A little moisturizer from Clinique. I'm working the moisturizer section. And then this night cream is retinol lotion from Pixi. Um my wrinkle CBD booster. So this is like a retinol product. And then another night cream here, which is the Faloga Time Filler. So I think that is everything. So now the next job is to pop it all in here and put the excess in these drawers. But I think this video is like incredibly long now. So so I'm probably gonna end this video here now I've shown you everything that I've got. Um, and then I'm gonna start a part two where I'm gonna just organize it and put it all away. So yeah, if you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also hit subscribe. Um, click that bell to be notified when part two goes live. Um, I'm also starting to post as well on my community tab when advent calendar waiting lists are becoming live. So if you click the notification bell, whenever I post anything, you should get a notification to your phone and then you can just pop on, sign up for your advent calendar waitlist um, and yeah, be ready. So yeah, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in part two.